Hi, I'm Miranda, and this is a bit of Geek TV. For this month's episode, I'm going to try something a bit new, a bit different, and something that I think is pretty exciting. I had a chance to interview the owner of a game store while I was up in Washington, so I'm going to share that with you here, as well as the fact that I finally got my hands on a copy of the newest Professor Layton game for the Nintendo DS. <laughs> So let's crack this interview open like a hard-boiled egg. I'm Miranda from A Bit of Geek TV, and I'm here with Damien of Dig D's Toys in Port Orchard. Hello. Hello. Okay, so where did the name for your store come from? It came from my English bulldog that I had at home. It was a little cute. Well, he's not cute anymore. He's actually very big and scary. But uh, it came from him. Yeah, so um, that's why he's on the on my card. Card and... Oh, you see him right there? Oh, yep. Yeah, there's a bulldog on the it's store cute. stamp. It really is. <laughs> so, and I'm guessing, is your dog's name... No, so that's, with a D? D is me. Your D? Okay. As in Damien. So, Dig Damien's, that's fun. And Dig, like Dig Doug. There you go. Dig Doug. Fun. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when did you open your location? About 11 months ago. We opened uh, around May, so we've been open for about 11 months. Oh, nice. And uh, do you work here by yourself? Do you and have... it's, uh, yeah, I run all by myself. Wow. All yeah. right. That is impressive. Are you open seven days a week? Uh, five days a week, okay. 12 to 5. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah. For one person, that's still that's still a lot. There's still a lot to maintain in here. Lots of eBaying, <laughs> too. So. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, so... um. How long have you wanted to open a shop? Um, I actually started collecting action figures, and then I used to drive around to all these specialty shops like my own, and uh, I'd see all these guys spending thousands of dollars on action figures, so I decided one day, I was like, why don't I just do an eBay business, but then I started buying so much that it got ridiculous, and my house filled up, and then my storage filled up, and so I decided to open a store. So how long ago did that start, would you say? About a year and a half ago. Oh, so you acquired a lot of product in a very yes. short amount of time. I had a lot of money. That's impressive. Yes. So uh, did you face any specific challenges when uh, starting to open your shop? Any prep or anything like that? No, I had I had never done anything like this before, but I started doing eBay and my store at the same time, so they kind of equal each other out, so I have a constant income. Excellent. Makes it perfect. Now, do you have any background in business, or did you ever envision owning a store when you were younger or anything like no, that? No, I'm actually a great success story. I actually dropped out of high school. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And now I own my own business. That's awesome. So, how is business? Uh, business is booming. Nice. Yes, yeah, video game sales are up 75%, and action figures sell great on eBay. That is fantastic. Uh, there are people who always want to open a store like this or mm -hmm. wish that there were one nearby, and uh, frequently they open and then close right away. Business just isn't steady enough. But, uh, yeah, they were telling me you've been doing a great job, and it's great to hear that business is booming. Yeah, a lot of people don't rely on eBay like they should because once you mm -hmm. do eBay, you can get out to millions of viewers, you know, that can see your stuff, yes. opposed to having, you know, 15 people a day come in the store and see it. There's millions of people that can see it and buy it. Yeah, internet is absolutely oh, fantastic. Oh, it's the way it's, to go. Yeah, so would you recommend if people wanted to open their own shop similar to make sure to have an eBay portion? Oh, yeah, you need an eBay to yeah. keep alive. And I would actually start an eBay before you do it, then go on to the business part about it. That's good to know. I would never have thought of doing that. Because yes. I've considered doing something similar, and then I realized I'm just not a business person. Oh, it's so easy. So. <laughs> and you can sit around and play with action figures and play video games all day. You can't beat that. See, that's true. I didn't get to do that when I worked at uh, that other game store. Oh, I could get yeah. uh, reprimanded for playing games while I was at work. So. Yeah, they're kind of the Hitlers <laughs> of the gaming industry. A little bit. So where do you get your products? I actually just buy what people bring in. Really? Once I, I started out, and then once I started, it was really easy because you can, um, once people know that you're here and you're and you're willing to buy stuff from them, they bring it in truckloads and boxes. I had a guy bring me 20 Nintendo, original Nintendos, wow. um, like two weeks ago. 
just it's insane. Like every day, people bring in stuff, and then all the rare stuff. You yeah, you have a lot of rare stuff in here. Which oh, is where I'm like, where does it come from? It comes from people's attics and garages, and guys that get married, and their wife says, "Get rid of that stuff." Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I know. I would never poor do that. guys, don't ever, don't ever never let do that. them do that to yeah. you. Know? <laughs> What's up, G? <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so um, I'm, I take it you're a gamer yourself. Oh, totally. Okay, and how long have you been gaming? My entire life. Excellent. Atari and up. Perfect. And so uh, I'm guessing that everything you carry in here is an interest of your own. So the action well, figures, the toys. The funny thing about this whole store is this is my childhood wrapped up into one store. The slum must feel good to be here all the time. It is. It's a great feeling. And, you know, you get bored, you play some video games. <laughs> any, any video game you ever want to play is here, too. So, But we deal in mostly retro stuff. Yeah, which is great. There's a huge market for it, mm -hmm. but bigger companies don't think there's enough market for it. And, and now they're mistaken because they probably oh. make the biggest profit. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So what is your favorite part about owning your own store? The fact that I can leave at any point... <laughs> and just go home. Your own boss? Yes. And, your own boss. and the fact that I'm still making money on eBay when even I'm not working, so that's always a good thing. Yeah. Okay, so now do you have a favorite game? Oh. Any system. Or if you need to game. categorize by system, that's okay. But if you have an ultimate favorite, I'd be interested to hear it. <laughs> God of War. Really? Yeah, for some reason, Kratos has touched my soul and my heart. <laughs> and I've never been the same. That's fair. Mm -hmm. So and Zelda, of course. Yeah, of course. It's all the Zelda fans that they love Zelda. Yes. They get enough of it. But they're really hard. Yes. Yes. And they don't make books for them anymore. So you have to go online and to figure out how to get past the water level. Oh, yeah, that water temple. The first time I played Ocarina of Time, it took me a solid two weeks <laughs> to get past that water temple. Don't feel bad. I'm on three weeks. <laughs> Playing it the second time around, like two hours, I got through it. Oh, nice. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I almost broke down and got the game genie, but I can't do that to Zelda. Yeah. Or my heart. Yeah. I keep strategy guides because I get stuck really easily. Mm -hmm. And if the game is not fun, then what's the point? Yeah, amen to that. Yeah, so I'll uh, I'll take a peek. Okay, I can confess this one part, and then I'll stop reading. I'll read that one section, and then keep going. <laughs> Except I do have to admit, in Twilight Princess, that giant room with those two statue guardians, oh, I was like, no, and looked through the guide for the whole thing. I was like, I know I would stop playing right here and now if I had to do this on my own, so that's not going to happen. That was even harder. I, yeah, Majora's Mask was oh. even, even, oh, God. <laughs> I almost smash my Nintendo 64 yes. on that game. I had the guide and didn't finish. I stopped on the water water temple in that one. I went, no, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I see you have a small section of comic books. Are you a big comic book person? Um, I actually have a friend that does the expos and stuff, and he wanted to start doing comic books in here, so I decided, you know, I'd buy some from him and start having them in here. So, okay. it's kind of taken off, but mostly video game sales. Yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah. Well, that is fantastic. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. Again, Damien, Dig These Toys in Port Orchard, Washington. Thank you so much for the interview. It's been a pleasure. Yes. I finally received a copy of Professor Layton and the Last Spectre for my birthday, and it's awesome! Let's trip head first into some gameplay footage. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. I'll handle this one, Professor. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you.
finish things off today, I want to put out a huge thank you to Jenny Lawson, aka The Bloggist, for her incredibly inspiring and hilarious reading and Q&A session the 19th of this month at Writer's Block LA. Turns out it's in Beverly Hills, not downtown Los Angeles as I originally thought, and for any of you who aren't certain, the Writer's Block LA Center is not the same location as the Writer's Guild of America West. Don't make the same mistake that I did. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.